Hi, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5 Minute Bookkeeping Blog. I'm going to show you how to fix duplicated expenses in QuickBooks Online. Now, usually entries are duplicated because they have been entered twice. So, how do you find and fix duplicated entries? I'll go ahead and show you two examples. First, from the Profit and Loss Report. So let's say that I'm reviewing my profit and loss report for last month and as I'm scrolling down I notice that rent expense has been duplicated. Amount is too high and I know it has been duplicated. So what I'll do is I'll click on this amount to drill down and now I can see that this expense was entered twice. So I'll go ahead and click on the duplicated transaction to view it. And all I have to do here is to void this transaction. And I do that by clicking more and void, yes, and okay. And now you can see that after fixing that duplicate that I now show the correct rent expense. And if we go back to our profit and loss report, it's it's showing the correct rent expense for the month. Another way in which you might find a duplicated transaction is from the vendor center. Here you can see the same transaction and again I can tell that it's been entered twice. So once again I'll click on the duplicated transaction or double click in this case to open it. Click more, void, and yes and OK. So once again, I can see I'm now showing the correct expense. So let's say that you notice that you have entered a transaction twice, but how do you know which one to void? And does it matter? Well, yes, it does. You normally do not want to void the transaction that has been matched to an online banking transaction. So let's take a look at an example. So here's this transaction, and as you can see, it shows an online banking match. So that means it has been matched to an online banking transaction. And let's look at the duplicate. Here we see that it has not been matched. I would actually want to void this transaction. And again, I would void it because it hasn't been matched to an online banking transaction. And be careful that you don't void any transactions that have been previously reconciled and that you don't void any transactions that your accountant or bookkeeper has already reconciled. You may want to check with them if that's the case. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit 5minutebookkeeping.com for the latest QuickBooks Online tutorials, and share this video with others.